Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins, Britta and Carly. If you haven't already, we would really appreciate it if you would subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. Today we're doing our favorite kinds of videos and I think they're yours too and this is our September favorite, so let's get started. Okay, so we have a lot of skincare products this month, which is pretty typical for us. We love trying new skincare products. Mm -hmm. And the weather's kind of kind of changing. It is so a little bit. We're kind slowly of slowly but surely. Um, I have two products from CosRx here. I hauled these on our Instagram stories and I ended up loving them. I'm not surprised. I love this brand so much. They're a Korean beauty brand and their um, products only have like a few ingredients so they're very clean and pure, good for the skin and they're pretty affordable. I would say it's yeah, middle it's of the like road. very basic packaging. Yeah, but it's nice. This feels weighted. Feel it. I mean, yeah, but it's it's simple. It's basic. It's yeah. not like it's going to look beautiful in your vanity. Yeah, but it looks way nicer than like clear thin plastic mm -hmm. um so this is the aha bha clarifying treatment toner and so this is a toner and i love the thayer's um toner i still use that one during the day and i use this at night and i will say that i read the reviews and people said it works the best when you spray it directly on your face instead of onto a cotton round so i go through it a lot quicker like as you can see i've already used this much and i've only had it for probably a month or so um, so I do think that you will run out of this a lot quicker than if you use it like on a cotton round, but I really like this. Um, sometimes I break out on my chest if I just use like a certain body product or I don't know. It's just like the spot that I break out the most. And if I use this on my chest, it clears up in like a couple days and I feel like I've noticed a difference in my pores on my face. And I don't know if it's from this or from this, but I feel like it works really well and I love that it's gentle enough that I can still use it with my retinols. Did you see um, what it was? Yeah, it's the AJ. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I talked about it. Mm -hmm. Um so I really recommend this if you're looking for a clarifying toner that has AHAs and BHAs that's gentle because I know a lot of us have sensitive skin and this one I think it's made with like natural AHAs and BHAs which is why it's more gentle yet botanical ingredients. So highly recommend if you have sensitive skin but you also want to like clear out your congested pores. I also, I love the Olay Hendrickson um, yeah. AHA toner, which I've talked about in the past, but that's a lot cheaper. So if you're yeah. looking to save some money, I but that one is also very good for sensitive skin. I think this is like $17, mm -hmm. I want to say. Okay, next up is the Cosrx Galactomyces 95 Tone Balancing Essence. And um, this, I heard, was a dupe for the SK2... Um, treatment essence is mm -hmm. it called which we've used before and that worked so well but it is insanely expensive I think it's like a hundred dollars whereas this one is twenty dollars and you get 3.3 .3 ounces and yeah Budiction said it was a dupe for that it had the same ingredients so I decided to try it because I just it's it said it's used to brighten the skin and um, I just feel like sometimes my skin can look a little bit dull and uneven so anytime I can use something to brighten it I'm, I'm there for it and so yeah it's made with um, ferment filter at 95%. This essence helps to nourish and hydrate the skin and over time making it appear more radiant and clear. I hi like definitely agree with the claims it's making. Um, I feel like it does make my skin overall look more radiant, which I love. And I love that you only need one pump for your whole face. You just press it in. It sinks in almost immediately, which an essence should. Um, so I really, really love this. Highly recommend. I did develop some texture on my forehead and I'm not sure if it was from this. It's it's hard to say because we're constantly trying new makeup products and new skincare so I don't really know like what you know sometimes it's hard to tell like what's making your skin look better what's mm -hmm. making it look worse but I will say I developed some texture not sure what's that that is from but I know that some people in the review said that this made them have like texture issues but it is like a natural ingredient so um I wouldn't be like too worried about it but yeah, I just want to put that out there because I'm not sure you might have like a reaction to it because some people did. But I highly recommend if you're just looking for something lightweight that you can use in the morning that's going to like help brighten and tone your skin. Okay, next we'll go into a concealer favorite. It's just sitting closest to me. Um, this is new to both of our collections, but we love it so much we had to talk about it. It's a new brand from CVS. It's called Joa, G-O-A-H, and it's a Korean inspired I would say like yeah. Korean inspired um no I think it well yeah I, I guess I mean it doesn't originate in Korea yeah it says um, manufactured by KISS yeah so Korean inspired makeup line that's very affordable obviously because it's only sold at CVS and we had heard Tati and Budiction both rave about this concealer so we wanted to pick it up and it's the truly yours dark circle concealer 
as you can see it's pretty large and then it has a sponge tip applicator and you twist it up very similar to the um, Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. We are in the shade, what shade Natural Ivory. It's the second one up and this concealer is so so stunning. I think, oh I love it. I think the texture is honestly so hard to describe. It's almost um, like a serum concealer. A little it, bit. It's so strange. Like you, I've been blending it with my fingers. I feel like it's the best way to do it. The sponge soaks up a little bit and the brush kind of makes it streak. So I just like tap it with my fingers. And it feels less emollient than my Glossier Stretch Concealer. But still very emollient. But then kind of dries down to like a satin matte finish. Yeah, that's what I would say. Um, but, but it is a lot um, more glowy than like tart shape. Yes, absolutely. And it has such a thin texture so it blends out so nicely. It's definitely like light to medium coverage. This I is think it's medium though. Maybe. I mean, it's covers. definitely not a full coverage concealer, no. but that is not what I'm looking for. I want it to look natural and I just love it so much. I've been looking for a good concealer for a while now. Nothing looks yeah. good on my under eyes. Same. I'm still looking because I don't want to rely on like one concealer. Um, I just want to like have options and a lot. Like I was loving the Laura Mercier concealer and that's her to look dry under my eyes. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, we're really big fans and it's only $7.99. It's so mm -hmm. good. Definitely our favorite drugstore concealer. concealer. I know and it's new. It's like a brand new brand which is really exciting. Next up are some nail polishes. This is the KL Polish Fall 2018 Collection. I'm wearing the shade 1435 on my fingers today. This is this shade. It's like a really pretty like navy dusty blue. I wore it last week and that's probably my favorite because it goes on so even. It does and I, I it chipped but I didn't put um, a top coat on it and I've been like doing a lot this morning so it's chipped a little but generally it lasts pretty well. And then I'm wearing Jane, you can't see, but on my toes. And this is like my new favorite pink polish. It's just so pretty, like a deep berry. I think I'm wearing it on my toes too. Oh yeah, we're twins. And then um, my other favorite is Cafe Disco. It's like a taupey shade with some glitter in it. So those are my three favorites from the collection, but they're all really, really pretty. We'll insert a photo so you can see all of them together. Um, but highly recommend if you're looking for like some new unique fall shades. Next up is a hair oil, and my um, coworker actually gifted me this, so thank you, Laura, if you're watching this video. It's the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil, and when I first started using this, I thought it was making my forehead break out, which was just dumb. I was just like, oh, I don't know if like, the oil transferred from the top of my hair to my forehead, but I was breaking out for other reasons. But this oil is so nice, and I know it's like the most popular hair oil on Sephora, but I was like, is oh, it? yeah, it's definitely like the top rated, most popular. But I never thought it was worth the money, but now I absolutely think it's worth the money. And when I run out, I will probably repurchase. I like it more than my Verb Oil, which really? is saying so much I because we that. have used that and raved about it for like two years since yeah. that brand launched. Um, and it's like a third of the price, but um, this stuff is so good. As you can see, it's thinner than the Verb Oil. It's a very... Um, it's like a very thin fluid texture, which is like beautiful for hair oil because I actually use two pumps and it also has this nice cap so it can't like press down if you're traveling. Um, I put two pumps in my hand, rub it in my hands, and then start on the bottom. My hair is pretty, and not in the best shape because um, obviously we bleached it, so. But the hair oils helped a lot, but I start on the bottom and I like work it all the way up to my the top and it's just made my hair really shiny. Like it looks kind of crazy right now because I washed it this morning and didn't do anything to it. But um, before I started using this hair oil, my hair was looking really damaged and I felt like this oil has helped a lot. It adds a lot of shine and it just makes my hair feel really soft and it, like I said, it's so lightweight, like more lightweight than any other hair oil I've tried. So I'm just really impressed. Um, I, I just see the hype. I see the hype. People have talked about it for years and I'm really, really happy that she gave it to me because I now will like use this forever. This oh god, is, this might be the best product of the month. I know. It has changed our lives. We love it so much. This is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Serum. We talked about this on our Instagram, so if you follow us there, you'll know how much we love this. But it's an AHA. And that wasn't sponsored, and this isn't sponsored. No, we just, we just love really this love it. product so much. Um, it's an AHA resurfacing night serum, and it has the um, green envy honey and gentle flower acids to exfoliate. 
Uh, it says to apply one to two pumps to clean skin at night, avoiding eyes and lips. Use two to three times a week. Um, I do switch off every other night in uses. I'll like use Curology yeah. one night and then this the next. But since we started using this, I feel like my skin has never been more even. Yeah, or it's it's just incredible. I actually have a ton of breakouts on my forehead right now. I'm not sure why. So I used it the past two nights because I'm just trying to like get rid of that texture. And it's just like you wake up and your skin looks like it's like that glass skin trend. Yeah. Like it looks like you have no dryness, like no pores. It it's, really, yeah, it kind of worked overnight. Like it was kind it of a does. drastic change the first time we used it. And the packaging. This packaging is so it's beautiful. beautiful. Like the fact that it has this frosted glass and then they're like nice matte sticker and then this beautiful gold top. I'm so obsessed with this. People say it compares to the Drunk yeah. Elephant um, Glycolic Night Serum, yeah, yeah, yeah. which we've used, like the mini one. And I liked that, but I didn't think it was anything crazy. No, I didn't see... I didn't see results that everyone else talks about. Like, again, exactly. like an overnight result. Yeah, I didn't it's see like that. Some people like their vitamin C serum more. Some people, like, swear by the night serum. And I didn't think either of them were that, in, like, that impressive. Oh, I really like the vitamin C. I guess I liked it because it soaked into the skin, mm -hmm. and most don't. So I liked the texture. Um, but as far as results go, like, I didn't see that many results from the night serum. But with this, I saw immediate results. Immediate. And it's, like, half the price. And it's still a little pricey. But again, this is like another product that I can't imagine not repurchasing yeah. and not using forever unless something better comes along. Like, because you do only get an ounce. I don't know how much no. you get with the drunk elephant. I think it's the same thing. Um, okay. And we love Exfoliate too. That's probably our other favorite. Oh, um, so like good. AHA exfoliating product. That one is physical and chemical exfoliants. But that you like, you really can't leave on. And you see really good results with it. But it's not something you remember to use because it's like a mask. Oh, I do. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I feel like it. this, like having it out and like using it every other night is it like helps you it just reminds you to use it and then you yeah. see better results because you're using it it's so good okay now i'm realizing that this month was like literally life-changing but also it's going to be a really long video i know we're rambling here. i know but the like these products that we have found this month have, yeah like life-changing products this one is a no exception it is the hourglass unlocked palette and let me just show you this beauty like how stunning is this palette? It is the prettiest thing I now own. Be careful with the mirror. I know. Well, I just... But yeah, look at the, that mirror too. It's so nice. Um, So, backstory. I have never purchased any of the Hourglass like holiday palettes. I think they've done it the past five years. And then this year they released two. This one came first. It's the Unlocked. It's their, I think it's their first like all vegan palette and it has their new logo. Um, it has a little bunny in it and it's, oh, yeah. yeah, it's like they're, um, it's like showing that they're planning on going 100% vegan by 2020. So well, they're cruelty free. Or they're already oh, cruelty okay. free. Um, so the logo is really cute and that's something different. Um, this is like a gold packaging. I know they switch it up every year. Uh, yeah, so this is the first. There are two holiday palettes. And the second one, just um, I saw pictures on Trend Mood. It didn't look that great to me, but this one really intrigued me. But if you're like us and you're pretty fair, I was worried that this was going to be too dark because they definitely market it as like being able to be used on all skin tones, which a lot of the Hourglass palettes, like um, if you are like medium to deep skin, you just cannot use. Like they're very yeah. light. So it's great that they finally launched a palette that they're saying can work with deeper skin tones. Um, but then I was like, oh, I don't know if it can work for me. But if I just use um, like very fluffy brushes and this is just so beautiful even on my skin tone like it's not too dark for me. Um, I hope you can see this but it comes with two setting powders, um, a bronzer, two blushes, one is shimmery, one is more matte, well matte for hourglass and then um, a highlighter and the highlighter is the strobe formula that came out last year and I just can't say enough good things. I've been using this literally every day since I purchased we'll insert it. swatches. Too. Yeah, we'll insert swatches. Um, and I mean, I could go on and on, but this is definitely my favorite makeup purchase I've made the entire year. I think it is 100% worth the $80. I have, I don't think I've actually ever loved a product more. Like, because it's a face palette that I use every single shade. Like, that never happens. Yeah. So I feel like I'm just getting so much use out of it. The powders are beautiful. If you've never tried the Hourglass Ambient Powders, you have to. I just, ugh, I can't say enough good things. I'm so excited. We're going to Nashville. We said it in our weekly favorites, but I can't wait to travel with this and just, like, use this instead of bringing a ton of different things. Like, I'm just beyond happy with it.
Last up is a body product. This is the Rodin and Fields Active Hydration Body Replenish. And I wasn't expecting to love this as much as I uh -huh, do. I know. It's a like true body butter, but it almost feels like a face cream. That's what we say. Like it Yeah. I, like I told her I was like, doesn't this feel like a, a face, face cream, cream going on your body? Which is just very nice. I kind it, of like all body butters felt like that because I feel you like You know there's a difference in texture. Yeah. Like usually body butters are so thick and you would never yeah. put it on your face. Like, yeah. But this is like so lightweight and almost like a gel like texture. Yeah, it's really nice, but it does dry or it sinks into the skin fairly quickly. Um, I do I feel like it. the hydration this gives lasts for a long time. My only complaint is the scent. You guys know we hate scented products. Oh, yeah, but I don't think this is scented. What? I feel like it might just be this. This smells like cucumbers. I think it's the ingredients in it. Really? Unless they added a fragrance. There's I think actually no ingredients listed on here. Oh, you might have been on the external packaging, which yeah. we don't have anymore. But it smells like cucumbers to me, so it kind of reminds me of like, remember that cucumber one from Bath and Body? Okay, Earth? I guess it does kind of smell like that. I just assumed that it was the ingredient, but I could be wrong. That could be, but I'm kind of assuming that they added this fragrance. So that's my only complaint. Aside from that, I think it's super hydrating. I feel like this will last me a long time. I use a lot of it, and I still have quite a bit left. So, but highly recommend. I know we talk about not liking fragrance, but like this is so mild. It doesn't really bother me. It bothers me because I hate the smell of cucumbers. I think that's it. That's you know, true. I've always hated that scent. Yeah, I don't love the smell of cucumbers either. Yeah. But it's not an overpowering fragrance. It's not overpowering. It's not like like um like a soap and glory body butter mm -hmm. like the vanilla or whatever Which like that's so good too they but. smell so good but they're very intense yeah. i think for me it's just like if it's something's claiming to be super hydrating and then you there's such an added fragrance you know how much alcohol is in that product and the alcohol is going to dry your skin out so much that there's no way it's actually that hydrating mm -hmm. i think that's what bothers me it's like if that's you true. would just take out the fragrance it would remove the alcohol and then it would work so much better yeah so that's where my issue comes with it okay hopefully you guys made it to the end of this video i know it was so long but th these products are phenomenal and they deserve to be talked about and thank you for watching. Uh, we'll be back soon with another video. Next week. And if you guys liked this video and hung in there, then please subscribe before you leave.